Hi, good morning everybody. Um, I'm here with you today to talk a little bit about our Blandy's 10 year old Cercial. Now Cercial, if you remember, is actually one of the four of the driest styles of Madeira. Uh, the white grape representing one of the four main white grapes of Madeira. So Cercial the driest, Verdelio the medium dry, Boal the medium rich, and then Manzi of course the richest of the four styles. Cercial is, is quite a, a unique varietal in that um, it can actually be grown in two very extreme locations on the island of Madeira. Uh, here on the south coast it's actually grown at about 700 meters above sea level, 2,100 feet above sea level, in, um, near a small village called Jardim de Seja. And it's fascinating up there that the vines are actually grown right down, trained along the soil in order to maximize the heat from the soil to reach the, uh, the legally allowed maturation level. On the north coast it's very, slightly, it's very different. Uh, so on the north coast they're actually grown right down by the sea uh, in two main regions, one region called Portmanige and the other region called Seychelles. And a lot of people when they try Cercial for the first time they talk about the saltiness of Cercial and that could eventually be associated to the vines being grown so close to the sea. But the wine itself, um, it's as you can see here, it's quite pale in colour. We're talking about a very light amber colour. Um, there's of course a lot less residual sugar in here when compared to a Malmsey. Residual sugar on this particular wine, we're talking about 47, 48 grams per litre residual sugar. So it does have a little bit of sugar in there, but the great thing about Cercial, it does bring with it a whole level of natural acidity to it. And here in terms of total acidity level, we're talking about 7 grams per litre of total acidity. On the nose, first off, you have this lovely, lovely nuttiness to it, a very touch of honey as well and some exotic woods there in the background. It really is a really nice appealing wine. On the mouth of course you do get this lovely dryness to it, that acidity really marks its presence. I actually have this wine served slightly chilled, so at about 14 degrees, degrees centigrade. Uh, or just over, just under 60, um, 60 Fahrenheit. So I do actually like to have my Cercial slightly chilled. In terms of food pairing with this, well, it's a very, very dynamic uh, wine to food pair with. Um, a very simple one. It's just some to toasted almonds right before a meal. But you know, we've done it with sushi, sashimi. We can do it. It's great with oysters. Um, and also, of course, if you do want to finish a meal with Cercial, uh, it goes very, very well with aged cheeses, maybe some aged hard cheese such as cheddar, uh, it's a lovely food pairing wine. Cheers.